it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with a shootout. It's a Lefroy shootout. Test it! Let's test it. <laughs> All right, Bruno, list them off left to right. That's what we got. One through seven. We got seven Lefroigs. Go. Lefroy 10. Boom. Lefroy 10 cask strength. That's my favorite. Lefroy quarter cask. All right, and we're coming over to the Lefroy triple wood. We got Lefroy select. Then we're coming over to the 15 year anniversary edition. Whoop, whoop. And then finally, the 18 year smooth, smooth Pete. Hold on. Baby, for those that have seen the shirt, you knew it was coming. You knew the gorilla was getting ready I think to show you're his so game tall, face. You need to do it again. I think you actually went off you the think? screen. Oh, oh. Game face! He just wanted to see that know. belly. I don't think it was recording. <laughs> game face! Game face! All right, the dog's starting to get excited. She's like, "What's all the yelling going on?" I'm excited. Why am I excited, Bruno? Because you love LaFroy. Love it. This is like my dream shootout. For those that don't know what a shootout is, we will take, although we've never taken seven, we will take several whiskeys from the family. They're all very similar. It's usually very hard to kind of tell them apart if you're trying them separately. We'll do it all at once. We know what's in here. We used to do these secretly. We can, and we still be, we we may still do them the other way too, where they're blind, and we kind of pick what we think which one is. This is, I'd hate to try to do it with seven. Yeah. And also, to me, once I get peed on my palate, it's kind of hard to start. God, different. So we'll like see what poetry. happens. Poetry. Peed on my palate. Peed on the palate. Wow. Well, another another T-shirt. Here's what we found out: when they're in the same family, they're so hard to, to actually tell the difference to. What we get the most value of, and what we've heard from the commenters is us saying, hey, this is an 18. Look at that. That 18 compares real well with the 10-year. Or it turns out I like the 10-year more than the 15. Mm -hmm. So it's real good to know what we're doing here. Um, bear with us because as we're both nosing and tasting, there is a little bit of downtime. We're not doing the deal where one's talking while the other one's tasting. But trust me, I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually do that familiar comparison, one sitting, bring that value to you guys. Mm -hmm. On a quick side note, don't forget, we've got this uh, contest going on. Check the other episodes. We're not going to go into that here. That's right. But you're going to want to go to Scotch Test Dummies. Give us your uh, YouTube username, blah, blah, blah. Watch a couple other episodes. Let's get back. Uh, mainly, go to the Dalmore King Alexander. We give you good details on the con on the uh, giveaway uh, and get them there. All right. I think we should start from That's one down. First one, yeah. Lefroy 10 here. So Lefroy 10, this is your standard offering here. This is their opener. The cast strength is to follow. Obviously, we got that briny peatness. Mm, mm. Let's try to stay in tandem and then we'll, we'll just kind of- Yeah, that's fine. A briny peatness and this is 43%. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. smoky, strong sweetness. Caramel, almost like a melting of cotton candy. Beautiful. A I'm melting go, of cotton candy. Oh yeah, when that cotton candy melts in your mouth and gives you that burst of sweetness, that explosion of sweetness. I don't know, I can say, I mean, the peat is strong. The peat is strong with this one. Okay. And then there is a sweetness in there with it. Well, I'm glad you recognize. Um, so I've come along a little bit because I, I tell you before, I would have told you, oh, there's peaty. Oh. I know, it, check that is, out. So you get there a forefront, is a sweetness forefront of that ash trayishness, and then it goes right into the sweetness. Dissolving cotton candy. Let's hit the cast strength tenure. Same thing tenure, uncut. So this is you getting that full experience. What's the ABV on this? 58. Oh yeah. So you're gonna get that same kind of tenure Lefroy, but this is strong, baby. This gives you the ability to water it down as you go, as you savor it. You know, on the nose, I just get peat. I don't mm. really get that it's strong. Mm. It's not oh. burning. It's not burning my nostrils. No, it's not. Wait till you put this deliciousness in your mouth. Like two drops come out. Yeah, yeah. A uh, big O happened <laughs> right there. God, that's why I love that. I mean, let, let's while he's tasting this, let, let me make no pretense about it. The cast strength of mm. Freud tenure 
is currently my favorite scotch out there. Yep, bingo, that's why. Cigarette butt. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Strong. Powerful, mm. powerful. I like the 10 year better than that. The 10 year is sweetness, very well balanced. But now with that, I guess you'd be able to bring that down. That's what I do with it. I'll actually bring that cast strength down a little bit. I bet you I bring that cast strength down to about a 46 ABV. I'm gonna do that. Let's do that real quick. 46 is kind of my water. deal. Wow, sacrilege. No, not really. You can add water to whatever you want. You're gonna try it again? Yeah. All right, I wanted to move through this a little bit no. faster, but we're doing right. just fine. Yeah. We're doing just fine. I like shootouts are usually quick. Wow, he's cracker tasting. He actually said he wanted to do some cracker because um, the peat is so strong. The difference is here, everything's peated. So it's not There's like a little bit of, of a mintiness, almost like a, a ever, evergreen. Okay. With the cast strength, and maybe it's a combination of both of them there, but. I just love the power that brings. I'm with you on that. I'll get a little bit. It's almost like that uh, natural wild growing mint. If you were to pluck mm -hmm. a leaf, throw it in your mouth and just kind of chew on it a little bit. There's no attached sugary sweetness with it. All right, you ready to move on or you want to try? I got, I got a drop of water in here. Got a drop of water. I'm gonna need some more of that 10 year a little bit, cast strength a little bit later. Wow. All right, so again, just going from the regular 10 year, you can't go wrong with this. It actually feels very well um, presented, what was the ABV on this? 43. Not, it's 43 on the tenure, then we go into the cask strength. Now we're going into the I still don't get. Cask. I still don't get the sweetness with the cask strength that I get with the standard I tenure. would agree, I would agree. I think the tenure is a little bit sweeter, uh, but you get a little bit more of that alcohol punch, a little bit more of that robustness with that cask strength. So, those two, I'm still going just standard Lafroy 10. Gotcha, so you're still leaning that way. Now the cask strength is beautiful, or the quarter cask. Actually, take these little casks and they uh, they kind of bump it up how they're going to age it a little bit quicker in there. I thought maybe they did something else with it too, but I can't remember. All right, it's but, a smaller cask, yeah, so the, the tiny, whiskey gets a lot more intimate contact with the wood. Basically. Intimate surface area. Yeah, Boom, yeah, yes. I like how so you it ages intimate. quicker, yes. kind of. Even. I don't know if it ages quicker, but it's got. No. You're, you're right though. It's got more surface area, so it's in and out. It's oscillating in and out. I know of with bourbons. Wood. Um, a lot of companies, startups, will use the five-gallon casks. Wow! Because it's smaller and it does age quick. I mean, you got there's so much more mm. wood contact with the whiskey; it does age quicker. So let's I would imagine in, it's the same with the with the scotches. I would imagine. And actually, right. this doesn't have an age statement on it, so this could be. It's an NAS. Uh, younger highly, than ten Highly rated. Highly rated. Um, and this one's been the one that I'm very intrigued to try it with the family. You ready? You cleansed? You need and some water. And this is what, 48%. So this one's a little bit higher. Mm. Third one back. Mm. You get that strong peat up front. You get a little twinge of iodine in there. Some people even say maybe a little bit of sourness. And it sweetens up on the back end but it sweetens up more like a toffee instead of a caramel. Mm. And it lingers, and it lingers with a little bit of that ashtrayness that's kind of common from the peat. You're killing me. You going with more water in that one? I'm more driving at it, yep. Yeah. I know. But I, I, try, I tried one sip. Second one. All right, I don't want to get on it. I don't want to get on it. Um, what are you getting on it? Pete, do what you're doing. That, I mean, to me, that's real similar to the cask strength. We'll do it again. Just you moving, think? I'm out of the cask strength. I had two oh, little sips in there. I can get a little goodness. bit more. I got a little sip in there, I guess. But mm -mm. we got to move this quicker. We're too slow. No, no. We're wow. Doing right. Come you on, get, now you gotta compare be able, that. You got to be able to talk it and compare it. You just don't shoot it. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Done, done. That's what you Remember get. Remember how we That's did the bag? I know we only had three. Wow, wow. You got to do them in quick succession to each other to get that difference. You can tell this is a little bit younger. You can tell it's younger than that 10 year cast strength. It's a little bit more of a raw spirit. Has not been aged as long. I'm with you, I bet you it's eight year. Mm. I think that's an eight year, maybe even a seven. Mm. That's still minty you can tell. too. I get a lot of the mint uh, yeah. coolness in my mouth as, yes. just as I'm breathing in and stuff after, after I've drank mm. it. I agree. I'm moving on to the triple wood. We're gonna hit this triple wood now. And you had a good point earlier. I wasn't so sure. You wanted to put the 15 and 18 last. 
Peated whiskeys will mellow the longer they are in cask. So it's going to get softer and more mellow as it gets a little bit older, which is uh, why I think we're getting a little sparkiness off of that uh, quarter cask. Now the triple wood has been in what? Grab that, yeah. It's quarter cask. Triple matured in ex bourbon barrels. Yep. Quarter cask. Bingo. And finally in European oak to create a subtle marriage of peat, wood, and a touch of sherry sweetness. Mm. Now again, this is an NAS, and you can taste some of that raw whiskey in there. It does have a bit more of the sweetness that I can get from both probably that bourbon cask and the sherry. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a definite, definite sweetness. The thing mm -hmm. is, I've already got, peat has saturated right. my, my buds. <laughs> I can't even smell peat in this, and I didn't in the quarter cask as well. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. I, I, I smell, I was like, I don't even smell a peat in it. But well, that's just, no, there it is. Right. I can smell it. But this one, the, the, the sweetness is definitely mm -hmm. I'm going to agree, agree with everything you said, because you can't really pick that quarter cask peat strength out of there because of we just had that quarter cask. Uh, but it's definitely on a sweeter nature of it. I can definitely get how both the uh, the bourbon cask and the uh, the uh, what was the other one? The, was it a European oak? European oak. Yep. No, sherry. It was butts. I don't know. Is it? It doesn't say sherry. You sure it's sherry? Yeah, it says on the front. Oh, yeah. okay. Bingo. European oak to create a subtle marriage of peat, wood, and a touch and of sherry, sherry sweetness. sweetness. There you go. That is the And sweetness. that's 48% as well, a little bit higher. The, the standard Lafroy 10 year has been the lowest at 43%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 43, 59, 48, 40. Boom. 48. Coming into the select. And it's been well, a while since the, we reviewed. I'm still on the triple wood. You're still wood. on the triple wood. You're still babying through the triple wood. I'm going to move on to the select. The select, as you're doing that, um, Oh, I'm even trying to remember what is in it. Hand-selected cask, if I remember the big thing. Um, created from carefully selected casks of each of our key styles. Uh, with one notable addition. Final maturation in a new American oak. So it's been bourbonized a little bit because it's not a prior fill. And then it even goes on to say, rarely used for Scotch whiskey maturation. Six months of this maturation takes place in the highest, warmest reaches of the warehouse during the Scottish summer. So they're really trying to get that, that spirit to oscillate in and out of that uh, charcoal uh, virgin cask. So this should have a little bit of, uh, of a bourbon note to it as well, ideally. The triple wood is definitely sweeter. And the peat is smoother than the Lafroy tin. Mm. Mm. Wow. And you love this select, don't you? I get a little bit more of a cigarette ashtrayness in the aftertaste, which I don't find as appealing. But it's very smooth and rounded on the forefront. i got to compare this directly with the triple. I've had, I've had the cigarette, cigarette <laughs> ash on uh, about all of them. <laughs> Hmm. The triple is offering a little bit more complexity than the others, and it finishes in a much less ashtray Lafroy way. And it, and it's it's rounded as well, but it's the most intriguing so far head to head is the triple wood to the select because they're both very unique in Lafroy's line anyway. I'm cleansing my palate here a little bit. Hmm. I'm getting no got too much too much hmm. heat on there. Wow. You're going to dig the Select again. I think you liked it before a lot. The only thing that's a little bit weird with that Select is the peatiness pops up at the end. That ashtrayness comes in at the very latter stages of it. Hmm. Kind of surprising. It's almost like a roll reversal. Interesting. I'm going to do a slight cleansing before I do the 15 and the 18. Both the 15 and the 18 are subtler peats. They matured longer. They're softer, a little bit more delicate, much more delicate than the 10-year cast strength. Uh, and then I want to roll back through and compare those directly to the 10-year and the 10-year cast strength. But these triple wood, the triple wood and the select are very interesting next to each other. I just need another splash of this so I can mm -hmm. do it. That select is good. It's smooth. It's sweet. The peat is present. 
I liked that triple wood though, just as we were going down the line. Yeah. To me, that triple wood stood out. Well, I know you like it. I mean, it's it's a distinct separation. I'm actually surprised you let me talk there. Me too. You seem to get perplexed about three in. About three in, you're like, ah, ah cracker, cracker. So you I go, just go, went. go, go. You got to move to the next one. It's a shootout. We got to go. He's always slow in the shootout. All right. And when you really shoot, you're There's not no slow. There's no rules. There's no rules to the shootout that it's fast. But it's called a and shootout. A shootout. If you say shootout to somebody and then it's slow, they're like, what the That's hell? That's your interpretation. This should be called like bocce ball with old people where we just throw it out there and then you tabulate your score. It's a shootout. When are shootouts slow? By the name shootout, it doesn't mean slow. A shootout's I'm fast. It's I'm ignoring rapid. you. Yeah, see, now he's ignoring. It's because I killed him on the point there. He's like, well, is there no rules to a shootout? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I've cleansed. We're getting ready to tap into the 15. Now hard I'm to get still a hold on the of. triple wood in the select. That's all right. There's no rules, it was Grandma. A, it was okay. Grandma, there ain't no rules. It was okay for you to go back and touch on the triple wood again. How I've quickly got, did I've got I to do move it? On, How quickly did I do it, though? This is like a show here. It's a show where there's people watching. What, are you stressing? You're stressing out a little bit? You just had a sigh. Should I back off of you? Velvet Elvis? Should I Velvet Elvis myself? <laughs> we're in my uh we're in my uh my ballpark here i'm loving this you can take as long as you want to take i'm just saying it's not very entertaining mm. <laughs> we're in the Lefroig 15 the green barrel is what i call it nose is subtle a little bit of uh alcohol burn not nearly as much peat from what i can get I want to know what this ABV is. This is the 200 year. 43. Wow. You got good eyes, brother. You'd be good in a shootout. <laughs> a real one. It's a 43. Now this has a mild, mm. mild peatiness and sweetness. The sweetness is really on the forefront with it. What do you want? Peat. This was, that's the 15 year. I get peat on the select. You see, here's what I get with a 15 year. A little bit sour coming in. Wow. Mm -mm. This is the one I didn't rate as high as we did them individually. I'm going to come back to that. Maybe I still got a little bit of um, cracker lingering in there. But boy, has that not stood up with the rest in the line. All right. Now, I know I told you when we did the individual review of the 15. Go check that out if you haven't. I don't think this is, it's become rare, but I don't think you're going to be 10, 15 years from now saying, dang, I missed out on that 200 year 15. Boy, that's very unimpressive in the family lineup here. We're going to go to the 18. We're going to go to the 18. I'm still on the 15. Do I'm I get sorry. To, do I get to talk about it? You do. Do it. Jump in there. Usually you are quiet and soft and you don't speak up. It's go good. ahead. It's good. Moving to the 18. I just to back that up you can't just sit there i'm on the 18. you're on the 18. goodness you're moving fast you're going quick i'm gonna i'm gonna pause and let you enjoy that 18. what would say you on the 18. oh wow oh wow it's good what else you got i'm done <laughs> good I like it too have I made you mad did I make you mad really mad I no. don't mean to make you mad I mean, I'm excited but that's it yeah oh boy this is him he's a little bit mad mm. 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 the smoke the Pete's way in the background on this kind of unfolds as you go Definitely less distinct, but a finer, I mean, you can tell this Pete's been in there in the cast for a while. And now I want to step in back to that original 10 year. At 18, the, like a clove sweetness Ooh. and the mouth feel of it, it really a velvety take over the mouth, uh, mild Pete. 
if you want, do the 18 to the 10 to see the difference. Some of you know that I don't necessarily like an older whiskey, especially when it comes to peated. If you're trying a peated whiskey, as I've said, the longer it spins in the cask, the more muted that peat is, the more it mellows out, the more the charcoal purifies it. So if you want that strong peatness at the forefront, you don't mind a 10 year. That's why a Lafroy 10 year is on par with a lot of 15 and 18 year other scotches. Hmm. I like the 18. I know. That's definitely. Um, and, and after that, the three wood. Mm -hmm. I like the three wood. What do you think of the select? Uh, it's good too. Um, I think the three wood though. Jesus. More sweetness and more, I think that sherry influence on it. God, I know I'm making people mad, but I'm trying that 15 year again. It just hits me as sour. I mean, maybe I was a little harsh with my earlier descriptive mm -hmm. comment. That shocked you. Three wood. You like the three wood the out three of all of them? The 18 and the three wood. How's the 15 sitting with you amongst all of them? I don't know. I moved through it too quick. <laughs> Now that we've kind of gone through all of them, I think this is where you could delve back in. You could jump back in and now vary up, do a few different things. You could try some stuff. I don't want you to, you know, the first run is good to get it out there. I don't think we have time. Oh, we got time, baby. We went 49 minutes with the bookers on the episode 200. Mm. How's We're going. We're going, we're going to post this and edit, and you're going to go, man, I was a jackass. I was being a well, jackass you're editing. Bruno. You're editing. I won't even add anything. All right. Usually, you're going to add stuff, and you've got total editing power. I'm comfortable <laughs> with your editing power. You've made fun of me before. You can make fun of me again. And you got to remember, this is my dream shootout here. <laughs> what got me and where you got a little bit quiet was when you said shootouts don't have to be fast. And I just compared it to a real shootout and said, well, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily what's implied by the name. If we call this a tea tasting, that would be slow. <laughs> <laughs> if we called this teetotal time, that would be a slow, gentle, long affair heavy on ceremony. What say you? Sure. Nothing else? You ain't got nothing else? Now mm. you're going to shut down on me on like live TV? You're shutting down. Don't shut down. Bring your game face. Just put in the comments if you think Bart was a jackass. Put it in the comments if you think I was a J.A. <laughs> <laughs> We're like brothers though. I, I, I acknowledge I apologize if I'm a J.A. I'm a little excited. I'm you were excited. excited. You were like a... And you're like, well, hold on. I'm still on my fourth his, try. New, like Chris yes. Farley in... Um, is Which it, one? Uh, Tommy Boy. And he's so excited. And he just wants to hold it. He's so excited. He wants to squeeze it. And then he strangles it because he's so excited. He's letting out some aggression there. You sounded like Cousin Shane for a second. <laughs> hold on. You messed up my hair. <laughs> That's what you were That's like. a little aggression there. Trying to like bring you down a little bit. I appreciate you trying to slow down. I, I, I can appreciate that. <laughs> you know, high energy is usually not something you want when you're watching a video. <laughs> it's not something you're looking for. You're looking for something a more subdued, relaxed. What's the German fella? They can go watch him. He's he would never do this. This is sacrilege. He's got the he's he's got a good show. All right. You've got my deal on the 15. The 15 kind of drops out in this family deal. I'm not digging the 15 as much. What else? Yeah, it was down there for me. Like I said, I picked out um, just going down. And the, and the Lefroy 10-year surprised me, just the sweetness that was coming out with it. Mm -hmm. um, so Lefroy 10-year. Cast strength didn't do it for me. Not as much sweetness and stuff with it. That I think I like the sweet with the peat, which came out with the with the three wood, triple mm -hmm. wood. Um and then the 18 year. Gotcha. So you're so, not digging the select as much. Um, you're a fan of well, the thing is though, you've really assaulted my taste buds here. <laughs> but Freud did. Yeah. Right. 
I mean, it's hard to tell, but I can tell you uh, these seven, the, the three wood, the triple wood, and the 18 year really stood out, and the 10 year surprised me uh, with the sweetness that was coming out with it. All right, the sectioning off, I can definitely tell you is there. The 18 gives you exactly what you would think, a mellowed Laphroaig. A classic, a lot of depth, a lot of flavor, and a, a lesser punch of the peat. The 10 year Laphroaig and the 10 year cast strength, you're, you're exactly right. You're getting a sweet Laphroaig, their classic 10 year Laphroaig, delicious, can't go wrong. The cast strength gives you exactly what you're talking about. That alcohol punch, you can bring it down yourself. You can adjust that ABV how you wish to adjust it. The quarter cask, you're right. Um, it's got to be younger, but they're able to bump it up. It almost compares nicely to the cast strength, as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Kind of interesting how they do that. And the oddities in here, definitely for me, are the triple wood and the select. I think they've really done something. They've managed to step out from the peat crowd a little bit with their offering of the triple wood and the select. Um, you can distinctly tell the differences um, from putting these into some different processes. And again, I'm, you know, I bought the 15. I, I, I love the idea of the 200 year anniversary. The 15 has just fallen very flat with me in the Lafroy. Well, family. you bought all of these except for the select was a gift to me. Huh. Okay. You're from right. A co from a coworker. Yep. You are correct. And then you got all the others, but. Hmm. I mean, what's your thoughts on the triple wood? I like the triple wood. I think it stands out. Yeah, I just tried the select again, but the sweetness of that triple wood and that sherry coming through, probably out of these seven, um, and the 18 is real limited and a little bit higher, but even the triple wood is the 70 to $80 range. Um, the triple wood definitely brings something new, something refreshing. It breaks it away from what you would think would be your standard Lafroy. And they do it in a very interesting way. That adding of the sherry, um, the adding of that bourbon cask, that first fill, and that what that is? I'm getting confused. It's got the quarter cask. It's got the European ex, ex oak, bourbon, and, and then, then the, the ex sherry bourbon. Butts. Yeah, I'm telling you, that really does something unique and different. So as far as the oddities, the standalones, I think the triple wood does great. You know I'm always a big fan, yeah, pour some more. I'm always a big fan of the cast strength, but you know what? The other thing that really shined was don't forget about that tenure. That yeah. 43, was this 43 ABV? Mm -hmm. Yep. That 43 ABV, and we're not even sure we reviewed this. I don't think we have. I think we started with I the quarter cast. I know we cast. did, yeah, we did the quarter cask and the cast strength, and you may be right. We never yeah. even did the We're going to come tenure. back and review the Lafroy tenure by itself because it really stands up nicely as right the, the leader of the forefront. I just wanted to pull that triple wood out, that tenure, and then you're definitely, I'm, I would agree with you. Um, now, I love the cast strength, but you've got to be a fan of the cast strength kind of thing. Um, because it's definitely bringing you that high ABV. Mm. But I would say the core of this family is definitely that entry level 10, that triple wood hands you something different with these multiple caskings and that 18 gives you a little bit of that, hey, senior VP kind of thing. You know, that leader of the team. And I remember, I mean, the triple wood was one, I mean, it was, we didn't review it that long ago. Mm -hmm. It was recently along with the select. But now that I've had it next to these others and I've even poured myself some more, I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It stands out as a much stronger candidate than the Select, as so. far as I'm concerned. Yep. I mean, the Select's all about, hey, this is a special selected cast. It's good, but it doesn't do what the Triple Wood does to me. The 15, I'm sorry, that's probably going to linger on my shelf for quite some time. The Quarter Cask is always a good go-to. What they're able to do with that young NAS, powerful. Um, now let's just say these were on sale here a while mm -hmm. back, weren't they? Was the quarter cast? Y'all know oh, the yeah. cat, cast strength was? Yeah. As and the quarter part, cast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the ten year? No. Just the just the, the quarter, quarter cast, cast and the, the cast strength, strength, those yeah. were on sale for Yeah, what? you could get a quarter cast for thirty four ninety nine and you could get a cast strength for thirty eight ninety nine. Steel. And you bought a case of both, didn't you? Well, I had some people calling me because saying, hey, uh, I know you're going to get some of this. Can you grab me a bottle as well? And I said, if they've got enough. So I went in. I had multiple people in this order. But, yeah, don't, don't, 
I definitely got enough that I could hold on to a few. I've had a couple, there were a couple people that didn't contact me back after I had purchased it. I'm not calling them going, hey, I still got yeah. your bottle. Yeah. I'll if they it. don't show up, I'm fine paying paying for the uh, for their bottle because the price has since gone back up. Beautiful, beautiful approach. Everybody knows I love Lefroy. Um, to, to nod back to you, you not being a Lefroy fan, I think a lot of people will be very interested in your opinion. And if I stepped on your opinion, I do apologize right here on the show. <laughs> and if you're on it, we're, I'm still, we're still good. <laughs> we'll, still, we'll still be shooting videos. He hurt me a little bit when he grabbed me. There was a little bit of pent up <laughs> aggression there. It looked like friendly hijinks. I think I might have a bruised retina. I think there was some damage done. Yeah, the hat fell off. Throw, punch you. you didn't throw a punch me. I think you <laughs> yeah, helped show some of the early right, right baldness that's you. coming on. Yeah, yeah, you're like, I'm just playing with it. I'm like, that hurt a little bit. That was a little bit of hurt. That was a little painful. I can tell you're mad. You're very strong, even though you're a slighter man. <laughs> All right. right. I poured some more of this cast strength. I'm going to enjoy it as we leave. Winner, winner, here. chicken dinner. Triple wood in the 18 year. Again, we got more goodness coming. Please, please subscribe if you're still here now. Throw your comments in. We would love to hear your comments mm -hmm. on this. And help support, us, help support us on Patreon as well. Yeah, come into Patreon. Um, and we're going to do a versus, a 10-year Lafroy against a 10-year Ardbeg. That's coming up soon as well. Yes. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Solange. Dummies. Dummies. I could tell that you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, he's a little angry. You were pissing me off. Though, I can dude. tell. I'm I know like, when I'm pissing you off. You get a little bit quiet. Like, fine, okay, fine. I'm like, no, I'm still. This I one tastes one like scotch. I'm like, I was on, and then you just totally moved on and went clear through the select. I'm like, well, I'm still on the triple one. <laughs>
We'll do it again. Just moving. I'm out of the cask strength. I had two oh. little sips in there. I can get a little bit more. Sad. I got a little sip in there, I guess. But mm -mm. we got to move this quicker. We're too slow. I don't know. We're wow. Doing right. Come you on, now you gotta be able. That. You got to be able to talk it and compare it. You just don't shoot it. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Done. Done. That's what you Remember get. Remember how we That's did the bag? I know we only had three. Wow. Wow. You got to do them in quick succession to each other to get that difference. You can tell this is a little bit younger. You can tell it's younger than that 10 year cast strength. It's a little bit more of a raw spirit. Has not been aged as long. I'm with you. I bet you it's eight year. Mm. I think that's an eight year, maybe even a seven. Hmm. That's still minty you can though, too. I get a lot of the mint uh, yeah. coolness in my mouth as, yes. just as I'm breathing in and stuff after, after I've drank mm. it. I agree. I'm moving on to the triple wood. We're gonna hit this triple wood now. And you had a good point earlier. I wasn't so sure. You wanted to put the 15 and 18 last. Peated whiskeys will mellow the longer they are in cask. So it's going to get softer and more mellow as it gets a little bit older, which is uh, why I think we're getting a little sparkiness off of that uh, quarter cask. Now, the triple wood has been in what? Grab that. Yeah. It's quarter cask. Triple matured in X. In the same family, they're so hard to, to actually tell the difference to. What we get the most value of, and what we've heard from the commenters is us saying, "Hey, this is an 18. Look at that. That 18 compares real well with the 10 year. Or it turns out I like the 10 year more than the 15. Mm -hmm. So it's real good to know what we're doing here. Um, bear with us because as we're both nosing and tasting. There is a little bit of downtime. We're not doing the deal where one's talking while the other one's tasting. But trust me. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually do that familiar comparison, one sitting, bring that value to you guys. Mm -hmm. On a quick side note, don't forget, we've got this uh, contest going on. Check the other episodes. We're not going to go into that here. That's right. But you're going to want to go to Scotch Test Dummies. Give us your uh, YouTube username, blah, blah, blah. Watch a couple other episodes. Let's get back. Uh, mainly, go to the Dalmore King Alexander. We give you good details on the, on the uh, giveaway uh, and get them there. All right. I think we should start from That's one down. First one, yeah. Lefroy 10 here. So Lefroy 10, this is your standard offering here. This is their opener. The cast strength is to follow. Obviously, we got that briny peatness. Mm, mm. Let's try to stay in tandem and then we'll, we'll just kind of- Yeah, that's fine. A briny peatness and this is 43%. Mm. Mm. Oh, mm. smoky, strong sweetness. Caramel, almost like a melting of cotton candy. Beautiful. I'm melting gonna go with, of cotton candy. Oh yeah, when that cotton candy melts in your mouth and gives you that burst of sweetness, that explosion of sweetness. I don't know. I can say. I mean, the peat is strong. The peat is strong with this one. Okay. And then there is a sweetness in there with it. Well, I'm glad you recognize. Um, so I've come along a little bit because I, I tell you before, I would have told you oh, there's peaty. Oh. I know. Check that out. So you get there a forefront, is a sweetness forefront of that ashtrayishness, and then it goes right into the sweet. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with a shootout. It's a Lefroy shootout. Test it. Let's test it. <laughs> All right, Bruno. List them off, left to right. That's what we got, one through seven. We got seven Lefroigs. go. Lefroig 10. Boom. Lefroig 10 cask strength. That's my favorite. Lefroig quarter cask. All right, and we're coming over to the Lefroig triple wood. We got Lefroig select. Then we're coming over to the 15 year anniversary edition. Whoop, whoop. And then finally the 18 year smooth, smooth peak. Hold on. Baby, for those that have seen the shirt, you knew it was coming. You knew the gorilla was getting ready to show his game tall. face. You need to do it again. I think he actually went you off think? the screen. You oh, think? Game face! He just wanted to see that had, belly. I don't think it was recording. Do it again. <laughs> game face! Game face! All right, the dog's starting to get excited. She's like, "What's all the yelling going on?" I'm excited. Why am I excited, Bruno? Because you love Lefroy. Love it. This is like my dream shootout. For those that don't know what a shootout is, 
We will take, although we've never taken seven, we will take several whiskeys from the family. They're all very similar. It's usually very hard to kind of tell them apart if you're trying them separately. We'll do it all at once. We know what's in here. We used to do these secretly. We can, and we still, be, we, we may still do them the other way too, where they're blind and we kind of pick what we think which one is. This is, I'd hate to try to do it with seven. Yeah. And also to me, once I get peed on my palate, it's kind of hard to start God, different. We'll like see what poetry. happens. Peed on my palate. Peed on the palate. Wow. There's love another t-shirt. Here's what we found out when they're in, kind of chew on it a little bit. There's no attached sugary sweetness with it. All right, you ready to move on or you want to try? I got, I got a drop of water in here. Got a drop of water. I'm going to need some more of that tenure a little bit, cast strength a little bit later. Wow. All right, so again, just going from the regular tenure, you can't go wrong with this. It actually feels very well uh, presented. What was the ABV on this? 43. Not, it's 43 on the tenure. Then we go into the cast strength. Now we're going into the I still don't get. Cask. I still don't get the sweetness with the cask strength that I get with the standard. I tenure. would agree. I would agree. I think the tenure is a little bit sweeter, uh, but you get a little bit more of that alcohol punch, a little bit more of that robustness with that cask strength. So those two, I'm still going just standard Lafroy 10. Gotcha. So you're still leaning that way. Now the cask strength is beautiful, or the quarter cask. They actually take these little casks, and they, uh, they kind of bump it up how they're going to age it a little bit quicker in there. I thought maybe they did something else with it too, but I can't remember. All right. It's but, a smaller cask, yeah, so the, little the tiny, whiskey gets a lot more intimate contact with the wood. Basically. Intimate. Surface area. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yes. I like how you So it ages intimate. quicker, yes. kind of? Even. I don't know if it ages quicker, but it's got, no. you're, you're right though, it's got more surface area, so it's in and out. It's oscillating in and out. I know with bourbons, wood. Um, a lot of companies, startups, will use the five-gallon casks. Wow. Because it's smaller and it does age quick. I mean, you got there's so much more mm. the wood contact with the whiskey, it does age quicker. So let's I would imagine in, it's the same with the, with the scotches. I would imagine. And actually, right. this doesn't have an age statement on it, so this could be... It's an NAS. Uh, younger highly, than the 10-year. Highly rated. Highly rated. Um... And this one's been the one that I'm very intrigued to try it with the family. You ready? You cleansed? You need and some water. And this is what, 48%. So this one's a little bit higher. Mm. Third one back. Mm. You get that strong pea 